I just talked about the tracks and the clips in the session view. These are the tracks, these are the clips, right? Now the idea is that the session view is a place where you can experiment and uh, try out things, uh, try out ideas, see if certain clips work well together. And then maybe later on you transfer all that to the arrangement view. And what I mean by experimenting is to just, let me just stop all clips for a moment, is to check out if certain clips work together. Like here's a drum beat. I have a little percussion here. You could say this works, right? So you could alt and drag these down to a different row over here. And that is what's called a scene. This row with clips playing together is what's called a scene. And the way you fire that scene is with this play button on the master channel. These play buttons are to fire the scenes that are on that particular row. So for instance, this could be an intro to a track. And maybe later on, if I copy and drag these down and add to that this acoustic guitar, I could fire this whole scene with this play button on the number four. Now you don't need to drag and copy these clips all the time to create a scene. Another way to do that is to just fire away these, uh, these clips. And then go to the menu bar here and say capture and insert scene. So these, these two clips are now not playing in the same scene. Let me just delete these all to make things clear. Let's say this one is not here, right? You know what? Let me just leave it there. This could be my intro scene, okay? So I go to create, capture and insert scene. And there it is, there's my new scene. Now let's say this is playing as my intro and I wanna add a grand piano part. Again, I got just go to uh, capture and insert scene, and there you go. There's a new scene. This scene is created below the currently playing scene. So if I were to play this one right now, number now it's called number nine, but it's actually the second scene. Now the scene is created below the one that was last playing. Okay, so this is, it's now called scene number 10. And I can drag this down. So it actually is number 10. And this is where you actually are creating a jam session. I think that's why it's called the session view. If I play this scene now and I add this acoustic guitar, A new scene that I create will be created below this one that is now active, right? This row here is active. This scene is active. So if I do that, there you go. There's a new scene. And using these play buttons, I can jump from scene to scene, right? So if I want to start with uh, the, the rhythm, and after that, I want to add the piano, that is added in this scene. And now the guitar with that. So doing this, you can actually see this as a modern variety of a jam session, you know, just uh, firing away instruments and clips. And the beauty is that you can actually record your jam session. It will be recorded in the arrangement view. Let me just show you that. I'll just go into record. If I now switch to the arrangement view, 
you can see it's actually being recorded, right? Let me add the grand piano. So going back to the arrangement view, it's now all there. So that's wonderful. You can actually uh, do whatever you like in the, uh, in the session view and stuff will be recorded in the arrangement view, which is available to you to, uh, to actually create an entire arrangement out of this, uh, a song, right? So that is the session view and the scenes.